Welcome to Learn It, a series of digital scrapbooking tutorials by Wendy Design Scraps. I've updated the Action Pin It to include an extra version and to improve it just a little bit, so I wanted to go through how it works. This was actually one of the very first actions that I made, and so we're going to take a look today at the two versions that are included with the set. One is the lasso version and one's the brush version. And they basically do the exact same thing, but they just handle it a little bit differently in how you make your selection. So the point of the action is to hide a section of your element underneath the paper. And this is great for pins or um, anything that you might kind of poke through the paper and come out the other side. So in this case, I'm going to demonstrate it using this string of lights and it will accomplish the same thing. So with the lasso version, I'm going to go ahead and select the lasso version in the actions panel. And then I need to select my pin layer. And that in this case is going to be the string of lights. With the lasso version, you want to get your marquee tool, get the lasso tool. And you want to make a selection around the area that you want to hide underneath the paper. And I find that this works best if you get kind of like a curved look. So you can kind of do this or you might want to do like a reverse curved look kind of like this. So you just kind of draw your selection there where you want it to be using your lasso tool. Once you've done that, all you have to do is press play and continue. You just get some instructions that I've just explained to you already. And the action is going to turn that into a hidden embossed area. And then you'll get a reminder that you need to paint on your holes. So click continue. And with the brush that's provided, just go ahead and paint in black wherever you want your holes to be. And you can kind of click around to expand it, or you can draw a big hole. However you want your hole to be there, you can paint it in. Now, I will mention here that this action makes use of the pin brush provided in your download as well as a chalk brush. So if you don't have those installed, uh, make sure you install them. The pin brush can be installed by double clicking. If you have a Macintosh, just double click the AVR file. If you don't, all you have to do is go to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and click Load and find that pin brush and install it. The chalk brush should be automatically installed here in Photoshop. If it's not, when you get to this section, you can use any brush you want to paint your holes in. Okay, so that is the lasso version, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. What's great about it is your original element layer is actually left there intact in case you want to go back and redo it. The next version is the brush version. Now with the brush version, what you want to do is create a new layer immediately above your pin or element, and then you can get any brush that you want, and you're going to paint the area you want to hide. So let's just grab a hard round brush and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do here is just paint over the section that I want to use. Okay. And as long as this center section is covered completely, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. The one thing you do want to be concerned with is just the end here, where it ends. That's the shape that we're going to use. So just paint over however you want it to look and press play. That's all you have to do on this one. We'll click continue through the instructions, continue at the end, and again we're prompted to paint our hole in, so we can just do that real quickly there. We've got our little hole. So that is how Pin It works. I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.